Chuyện ngày xưa nước Âu Lạc thanh bình, thành cổ loa cao ngất giữa trời xanh, lượn vòng quanh mấy bức tường thành, chống ngoại xâm cho dân ấm no trong an lành. Hello everyone, I'm reporter Vân Anh. And I'm reporter Ngọc Lợi. Welcome to ADES Travel. The lyrics I just read it is talk about the Kola Citadel. As you know, Kola Citadel has been known as a special national historical site and it is located in Kola commune, the wine district in Hanoi capital. Surely you are wondering why today we brought you here again? The main reason is that we want you to learn more deeply and clearly about the history of Vietnam and enjoy the cultural beautiful beauties of the history of Vietnam, the Asher Plan. Kola is associated with the legend of Vietnamese people about the King An Dung Vương, built Sidudo, about the god Kim Quy shot a few hundreds of enemies, about the sad love story and moving love of Mi Châu Trọng Thủy. For a long time, this old Sidudo with the legendary historical characters have gone into the subconscious of the people of Vietnam. Now, I am standing at Gola Citadel, the oldest ancient citadel of Vietnam. It was built by King An Dung Vương in the 3rd century BC to be the capital city of Âu Lạc, the name of Vietnam at that time. Now, let's follow me. Âu Lạc, Cô Loa was located at the top of the Red River Delta Triangle and was the important crossing point for waterways and roads. From here, it is possible to control both plains and uh, uh, mountainous area. Also, when building, ancient Vietnamese people knew how to take advantage of natural terrains. Because at that time, Âu Lạc has no brick, so the main materials Uh, that was used to build the citadel was uh, the uh, stone uh, and broken uh, pottery. Now, reporter Phương Anh and Kai Phu will introduce more about the structure of the citadel. Hello everybody, my name is Phu and next to me is reporter Phương Anh. You must have heard the citadel is built as a ring called Kora Citadel when you come here, right? According to the legends, there are nine rounds, but based on the Vetis, The scientists found out that the city has three rounds. A rampart on the inside on, can be made later under the Ngopian. The citadel was built by the methods of excavation to where built to that. The outer ramparts were its slope, then the ramparts were its level to cross in the heart in the easy to hit. In Kola Citadel, there are three more rounds. The first one is a rampart on the inside. Next is a rampart in the middle. Finally, it's a rampart on the outside. Each trail has water chains surrounded outside. Changes usually 10 meters to 30 meter width. Some changes are wider. Changes route are communicated to each other and communicated to one river. The combination between river, chains and cattle walls have no shape, make the citadel like a military zone. It is a good place to attack like a maze and defend. Each door of the citadel are also arranged very unique. They are not lying on a straight axis, but it is deviated a lot. Thus, the road connecting two gates in the same direction is a winding road, and there are defensive mouths on both sides, causing a lot of obstacles for the enemy to attack. To continue, let's find out more about places in the citadel through introductions of Ming Chow. Hello everyone, I'm your reporter today. Come here to Kola Citadel. We are gonna visit and experience four places including 1. Thương Temple 2. Ngư Chiêu Di Quy Temple 3. Mi Chiêu Temple and 4. Pier Well For now, the first place I want to introduce you is the An Dương Vương Temple, worshipping King An Dương Vương. So you guys, let's follow me now to impressive venue.
is outside of Tung Temple. Legend has it that it was built on the inside of the previous day. The temple was rebuilt in the early 20th century. There are two stone dragons uh, at the temple level are relic Chen Ole. Before the temple is not well, legend is where top three still side because of remote. The temple also retains some relic such as under the Brom statues, a pair of light side pink and white wooden horses, brooms, porcelain, wood and clothes. In front of the gate there are two stone dragons. There are many delicate curves which are carved meticulously. They have kingly architectural style in it. That's all the information about the temple. And if you want to know more about the history and culture of Vietnam, you, I hope you will learn more of something interesting. Thanks for your joining me. Wow, I see our tour today is so interesting and useful. After this tour, I hope all of you will respect the value of this relic more. I hope that you come to this next one to see the culture of Kola City Dose. Thanks for your watching. Good night. No long. Goodbye and see you again.